Hello, my beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your general reading for August 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for commenting. Please uh, be aware that these messages are general, so they might not resonate with every single person person out there so please do check out your moon your rising and your venus signs here on my youtube channel if you're new to my channel welcome you can also follow me on instagram and facebook where i try to post as much uh, information as possible regarding the astrology regarding the energy shifts through my stories you can check me out there um your ruling planet Saturn is currently in retrograde. Okay, it wants to come out. Um, it's hanging out with Pluto and Jupiter. So there's a lot of changes. Saturn represents authority figures, power, people that are in power. It can represent your career, it can represent the, the parts of your life and of your, of your being that are being restricted and limited. Um, being in Capricorn, right? Saturn is in Capricorn right now, but it's all going, it's all in retrograde. And I believe that your, your ruling planet, Saturn, will be going back direct in, probably in September, if I'm not mistaken. September. Sometime in September. So if you feel like things are stagnating, um, things are not moving forward, uh, the energy is constantly you know, bringing up conflict and restrictions and and um, unexpected events. This this has to do with the current astrology. So your ruling planet is is wreaking havoc, right? So obviously you're gonna feel it as above, so below. And as I tune into your first two cards here, Capricorn, this has to do with relationships. Okay, so kindred kindred partnership. People, right? We're talking about people in our lives, people who uh, we have a connection to. It feels like a deeper connection to. However, there is some unexpected events here happening. So conflict, conflict in the air here. Storm, a storm. A storm is coming. Did it or did it already happen? Right? Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Some of you might be dealing with someone or you might be the person who is conflicted, conflicted when it comes to the commitment that you signed up for, to the partnership that you signed up for. It feels like some of you are married because commitment, this is contracts. Maybe you're dealing with someone who also um, is married and going through uh, some uh, separation issues, right? When this comes in, so maybe you, if, you know, it could be the cross watcher of um, Saturn, uh, of Saturn. Oh boy, Saturn is wreaking havoc of Capricorn, or this can be you, right? So there's something contractual that's causing some delays for some of you, conflicts with other people, conflicts within the relationship. Okay, now a lot of you here, a creative endeavor. It feels like for some of you, your, your whatever connection you have here lacks creativity, lacks, you know, creativity is essentially self-expression. So we all need to tap into our creativity because we all express our, our, ourselves, our emotions, in a very different way. That's why it's called creativity. Everyone is is gifted a different creative talent, a, a, a different creative ability that allows them to express how they feel about a subject, about a person, about a situation, about an event, right? Some of you might be playing music, taking pictures, photography, painting, It feels like it's someone's escape. That's what I heard. Someone is escaping the issues in their marriage because there are issues when this card comes up through their creative endeavors. Some of you are being 
encouraged to explore your creative talents and abilities further. Or again, you might be meeting someone who is going through a divorce and who is creative, who's a creator, creates music, plays music, writes music, takes pictures, uh, who's a producer, who's a filmmaker, okay? So take it as it resonates. Okay, some of you, you're dealing with family issues. So this can be within your home, family, in-laws, uh, extended family, children. The person that you are connecting with maybe has children or has already a family. Okay, so take it as it resonates. I see three children here, four children. Okay. Doesn't have to be four, but in the card I see four. I think one of you in the card is the inner child. Because I see two girls, the inner child or your spirit guide, I'm hearing, can be the one who is um, guiding this creativity, this, in, this creative endeavor. Okay, let's get one more, please. These are the quantum oracle card decks. Yeah, so new supportive connections. I feel like there's, for some of you that are, are in a marriage and that has a little bit of conflicting energies because of family, it feels like you've met, you've met someone or other people through your creative uh, project, okay? That's what I'm feeling. But there's a lot of stuck energy, victim mentality. This card came up in my Friday reading. It feels like you're stuck, stuck in a marriage, stuck in a situation that is not allowing you to be your true self, okay? We're going to put that one there. All right, let's get some, where are we going with this spirit? Okay, we're going to go with the tattoo tarot deck and see what comes up for my Capricorns, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Venus is the planet of love, relationships. This is why you look at that placement to see what sign it's in. Eight of Cups. Someone walked away or is about to walk away or feels like walking away. Saying goodbye to a connection. Saying goodbye to a relationship. Eight of Cups, this is about walking away. This is about leaving a situation behind, leaving a person behind. Three of Coins, something about work. You might have met them at work. You might meet them at work. Again, this is work. It feels like you're going towards this new supportive connection that feels work-oriented but has a creative vibe to it yeah it feels like you're wanting to move forward you want to charge ahead with the chariot maybe you're dealing with a cancer or maybe the cancer has is the one who's going through all of this but it's a cancer maybe a step forward into your life but the chariot means you want to move on it's progress forward movement let's move forward let's stop looking back let's walk away and move forward the energy it's a universal energy the chariot is um, a major arcana in the tarot deck so it means it's universal it means it's undeniable it's it's gonna happen ace of swords two of coins there's some news here that someone gets with the ace of swords this is some a form of communication um, messages communication breakthrough clarity and then it leaves you with a choice, balancing, weighing out two options. Three of Cups. This can be a third party for some of you. Again, this is someone outside of a marriage, outside of a connection, uh, outside of a partnership. You might be the third party. Three of Cups. Because someone here is single with the nine of coins, nine of pentacles. This is someone who is alone. Five of cups. There's regret. 
sadness. Some form of news come, comes in. There's regret. But again, there's a third party involved. Six of coins. The feeling is mutual. Seven of coins. You're, you receive something. Someone receives something. Again, it could be a message. It could be an email. It can be some form of communication. You see how there's a there's a, an envelope here. In this deck, you know, it's about receiving. But it's reciprocity. Someone feels shameful or regretful about this. Someone's taking their time to reveal the truth. Seven of coins. We're planting our seeds. We're waiting. We're, we're, you know, we're buying time here. Seven of coins, seven of pentacles. To reveal the truth, the sun. Leo. Leo energy. You're dealing with a Leo. You have cancer and Leo here. What other messages about this uh, scenario do we want to give? Six of Swords about wanting to leave. Someone wants to leave. Six of Swords. This is gaining some peace of mind, but moving forward in a in a in a new direction that allows us to obtain peace of mind. But it's by it's by revealing the truth with the sun. What other messages do we have? about this spread please spirit the judgment card yeah you see it fell on the ace of swords so whatever form of communication or news or messages that came through oh boy okay so it feels like there's going to be some type of life-changing decision here with the judgment card okay so it did fall on the ace of swords here so you're gonna have to someone here is gonna have to make a decision the universe is going to force you or force them to make a decision Yep, five of wands, there is conflict. You know, we see it right away. We saw it, right? Conflict, competition. There's other people's energies involved here. Dis disagreements and not being able to hear and voice your opinion because there's just too many people, too many cooks in the kitchen. With that five of wands energy. Uh, let's get some romance. Angel cards to see what else what other energies can we pull for august 2020 for my dear capricorns sun moon rising venus oh someone's gonna have to make a decision about whether or not they want to give their relationship a chance it fell on the judgment card and the ace of swords I'm not feeling those. Let's get some other ones, please. Okay, forgiving and learning. Attraction. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Someone is holding on to something. Someone is living in the past. Instead of living in the present, because this is about living in the present. Attraction says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. There's something here. There's an issue here that's preventing someone from moving forward. From forgiving, learning the lesson, and then the wheel turns. Oops, my earrings fell. Um, Someone needs to really just accept the moment, accept the present the way it is, take it as a learning experience, unrequited. Children, make the effort, great love is worth taking, the steps you're guided to take. Someone's making a lot of effort. In their relationship but it's not leading to anything because it's not reciprocated on a deeper emotional level you feel it okay you're gonna know so there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going because 
there's a lack of reciprocity but i feel it feels like someone is going to find it in another person or has already found it in another person it feels like the only reason what is really connecting you with your partner is your children or their children take it as it resonates your love life is being affected by children there's a, a, a disconnect between you or someone else or the person that you're dating or you're seeing on the side i don't know but there's a disconnect and you see it here someone's making a lot of effort someone is making a lot of you know moves here to make someone happy because it, it did fall on the sun card happiness uh to make someone happy because of children but at the end of the day they're not happy and they're not being honest about it right with the deception card so someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship Someone needs to get honest or, you know, be honest with themselves to begin with. You know, that can be you or the person you're connecting with. Take it as it resonates. Let's see what the angel answers have to say. What messages, what advice, what energies can we pick up? Success. Reconsider. I don't know, Capricorn, but whatever it is that's going on, they're saying to reconsider. And it's going to work out. It's going to work out. And it did fall on the attraction card. So it means that you really need to step into the present moment and really get honest and real about what it is that you're feeling. And not allowing other people or other external factors to determine how you feel within yourself. Someone's going to reconsider something. If this is not you, it's going to be the other person. It's up to you. That's it. It's really up to you. You have free will to see it as a win-win situation. No need to worry. Obviously, you're worried about what this, about whether or not this might work out. Opportunity. Some of you have to focus on your career, on your creative endeavors for some. Success and opportunity tells me that you're getting distracted by other things. And that's why they're saying to reconsider whatever it is that's causing disruption. Whatever it is, you have to take a look at how you feel about something or someone. Um, let's get some mermaid messages. What messages from the mermaids? Does my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs need to know? Healing. Yeah, this is what they were saying, right? Someone is still stuck in the past, still stuck in past hurt, forgiving and learning, healing, releasing the past. This is getting in touch with your feelings, getting honest about how you feel. It feels like you're part of a tribe or... You're being encouraged to find a tribe of people, a support system to help you heal and connect with higher sources. Abundance. For some of you, this is you healing that lack mentality. Because some of you have, you know, money is energy. So if we were raised in a, in a mentality that doesn't honor money in that way, then we'll, we, we grow up as adults to block money, un, subconsciously speaking, subconsciously because we need to heal that wound. This is for some of you, okay? So being in alignment with abundance means that we have to feel already abundant. If we feel lack and not good enough, then that's how we continue to attract people places things that reflect that lack of self-worth uh, acceptance like i said you need to accept something in the present moment getting real getting honest about something that is going on by being present not numbing out really feeling and being present and accepting what is happening within and without at the end of the at the bottom of the deck breaking free because you are tied to something you are entangled in something you're trapped and you your your soul your spirit is probably giving you a lot of signs through your feelings about how to break free okay break free 
breaking free. We're going to end this reading with a an affirmation card, Super Attractor deck, which speaks all about manifesting and being in alignment with our abundance, which is perfect for you in this reading. Abundance, you know, is comes in many different forms. Abundance of money, abundance of love, abundance of gratitude. Okay, so let's go with this one. Spiritual alignment. There we go. I was talking about how you have to be in alignment with whatever you want to call in or whatever it is that you desire on a deeper level. Spiritual alignment puts my man manifestation into motion. Then we have the next affirmation card. When I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in, vibration, I'm in a vibrational alignment with my true love nature. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. When I'm in a state of appreciation, gratitude, this is all about being the present, accepting what is. I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. This is not about what could have, should have, would have, right? It's about you being in this place of appreciating what is right now, in this moment. Not looking without, but going within. I'm feeling the fairies here. We're 21 minutes. Okay. The fairies are calling me for you guys. Let's see what other messages come up for you. Yeah. Business venture. For some of you, this is embarking in a different career, different business. Maybe uh, some of you might have to travel. So it says here, business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. Okay, so that's for some of you. Travel and an upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. Feels like local travel, obviously. I'm not too sure how many how many of us can inter can travel internationally, but there's a trip. You're, there's some movement, or someone is coming towards you. Because there we did have that chariot, and chariot can be about a, an arrival of something. Spiritual teacher. Your love, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. This is about you uh, tapping into your creative endeavor because you're creating something, whether that's music, that's uh, video games, producing, photography, whatever it is that you're creating. It heals. There's something about what you create is very healing for people. So maybe you need to tap into that energy. And it's very spiritual. Creation is spiritual. Creativity is spiritual. Okay, for some of you, you are being encouraged to continue this path of becoming a spiritual, an actual spiritual teacher. Okay, like myself, like other YouTubers out there who read cards, who channel, who do astrology. This is all spirituality. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Wow. Everything is working out. Because when you are in alignment with your purpose, that's when your true manifest your it puts your manifestation into motion. Interesting, right? All the all the messages are coming full circle. So Capricorn, I hope these messages were insightful and helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment, share if you find these messages resonated with you and, and can help someone you know. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you can contact me for a personal reading through my website and also through my uh, Etsy shop. So I'm wishing you all the best in the month of August 2020. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.